Hey guys, what's up? Saul here from MWR. Navy veteran, former modern Arnis fighter, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu dropout, and uh, whiskey addict. So I just wanted to do a reaction video to, you know, one of these um, TF2 videos I've seen floating around the internet. And it's, it's, it's a bit on the older side, um, but I, I think, you know... You guys have been asking for it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my official reaction here. Today we'll be reacting to Island by El Toro 64 Roos, who is, uh, I don't know, apparently a popular G modder, animator, whatever. Let's find out how it goes. And uh, as always, thank you for your support. Uh, I left my tarot cards in the trash because that's where they belong, but uh, I'll bring them out next time maybe. And uh, without further ado, let's let's start this video. Okay, how do I even do a camera here? Ready, set, fire! Oh, it's a sad demo, man. Oh, wait, 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 nope, hold up. So, uh, that boat actually does not have proper lighting configurations you're supposed to have a uh, red light on the port side and a green light on the starboard side port is left you know starboard is right if if you uh, aren't aware and we would remember that because port red wine so you know it's got to be red on the port side um and then it, it seems to have a, a light on the bow but uh it should have an aft light as well so this is already trash and they're failing at their uh, maritime law. And it's approaching the demo man. Now it looks like a very Viking-ish uh, vessel, like a Viking burial kind of situation. So uh, I don't think the scout is a Viking. He's not uh, Norse in any way. So another fail here and uh, where are we going? Oh my goodness. Well, this is absolutely insane. Um, he's, he's, he's eating he's eating socks as well as flesh. Uh, I guess you can do that. Uh, we didn't used to do that in the Navy, but, you know, push comes to shove, I guess. Maybe. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So here you've got uh, clearly a merchant vessel. Looks like a. I can't tell where the main stack is, where the main uh, the main structure is on the vessel. If it's in the front, it's a type one. If it's in the middle, it's type two. If it's aft, it's type three. And uh, that's how you'd call them out on channel sixteen underway. Group one merchant vessel, please respond. Channel one six, whatever, coming on your starboard side overtaking whatever um this uh, i mean he could not looking at the structure of this island I, I don't think he could stop that short of uh of running aground and if you look and you notice how this this is the water line this is the where the water line should be so um yeah that's that's the maximum draft of the vessel and it's uh it's way way above that to the point where topographically it's unstable. So in terms of center of gravity, that ship is doomed. Okay, so let's talk about anchors real quick. Um, so that anchor was specifically, uh, I think, an admiralty anchor or maybe a hall anchor. Um, let's back it up a second. No, not there. Yeah, okay, so that, that classic formation, that looks like an Admiralty anchor. Uh, actual, you know, military vessels, and I want to say most vessels nowadays use Danforth anchors just because the superior structure, because what ends up holding the ship in place, and you, you'd never throw an anchor on dry land. That's, uh, that's kind of stupid. Um, if, if you're that close to, to tossing to releasing the anchor then you are already in trouble for being aground running aground so um 
the Danforth anchors are popular because the, the point of the anchor is to grab the ground, but it's not about the anchor. The anchor isn't what holds the ship in place. What holds the ship in place is the length of chain you have out to add on to it. The anchor is just, <clears throat> you know, the, the culmination of that. But uh, again, if, if you were struck by any sort of anchor of this apparent size, uh, you would be dead, which it sounds like they already are from the kind of zombie-ish eating going on. Let's see. Oh, and, uh, okay, so he is clearly, um, some sort of ancient, uh, British admiralty of some sort. Um, so those shoulder pads, I think, are, uh, uh throwback to the British Navy's um, fringe epaulettes and uh, every, every branch of the service has epaulettes and that's the ranks you, you slide into your um, god it's been so long class these and uh, they show your rank these particular ones for the British Navy um, sometimes they, they actually clip and they button in but these showed, uh, you know, the, they had the fringes on them. And the scout is also missing a tooth. Um, in, in reality, the, the scout would be a little young to be an admiral. I think he's in his early 20s in the lore. Uh, he looks a little grizzlied. And he's got a lobster in his hat. So, you know, shout out to my fellow New England, New Englanders. Um, but that's not exactly what it's supposed to be. Let's keep going. Okay, they're hungry. What is this picture of a guy? I don't know. I don't know who that guy is. Is that, um... Is that the scout? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay, they're clearly disappointed. And I love that they have the bottle of Tabasco sauce there. That is, uh... A necessary condiment in my household. You you gotta have Tabasco sauce. It's gotta have the, the more so than any other hot sauce. Tabasco sauce has the vinegary flavor um, and just the the nice heat. And if you get around to it, you know the, the history of Tabasco sauce is pretty fascinating. Here, let me let me read the entire history of Tabasco to you. So Tabasco is an American brand of hot sauce made from vinegar, Tabasco peppers, capsicum. Frutisens, Vera Tabasco. Uh, although Tabasco so peppers were initially grown on Avery Island, they're now primarily cultivated in Galani. Mexico. It initially obtained unused cologne bottles from a New Orleans glass supplier on his death in 1890. US companies Nicole. to have received a royal warrant of appointment that certifies the company as a supplier to Queen Elizabeth II. In 2005, Avery Island was hit by Hurricane Rita, and the family constructed a 17-foot, 5.2-meter high levee around Avery the Island. Side of the day, peppers grown on the island are used to produce seed stock, which is then shipped to foreign growers. The resulting liquid is then mixed with distilled vinegar, stirred occasionally for a month, and then finished as sauce. Much of the salt used in Tabasco production comes from the Avery Island Salt Dome, the largest one in Louisiana. Wow. Who knew? <laughs> That's wild. Okay. Let's uh, continue with the video here. I'm also using sporks. Ooh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> here, here, this is my expertise. Mind warfare, okay? Scout is tossing over what appears to be um, some sort of a, a drop mine, you know, some some sort of, like, back in, back in the days, they would drop barrels, barrel mines that would just, you know, blow up, and um, you'd try to, you'd try for uh, contact detonation with those mines um, this is what that looks like but it could also be a magnetic or an acoustic mine so the goal of those mines is you drop them and uh, they actually go all the way to the seabed they go all the way to the ocean floor and they detect above you can set them to count I count ships going overhead you can set them to detect a, a certain type of ship by its magnetic signature because every ship as long as it's made of metal, will have a magnetic signature, regardless of the material. Um, 
That's why minesweepers were made of wood. Boom. Wooden ships, iron men, where you go, we've already been. And that was our mission on the minesweeper, was to uh, find these and uh, destroy them. So when a magnetic mine senses a certain magnetic signature, it can blow up based on a range of the cavitation bubble. So the average plebeian might think, well, you know, running into one of those contact mines from Finding Nemo or something, that's the worst thing that can happen to your ship. No, 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 no. When you run into a contact mine, which those mines with the spikes on them that float up on chains, or can just free float, um, when you run into that mine, you will create damage to the ship, clearly. And you'll need to call in damage control, and you will basically isolate that section of the ship, try to save any engineering you can to keep afloat. Um, you, you, you will likely survive that. But what they use for shock trials and what is more devastating to your ship is to have a mine blow up underneath you, like way underneath you. And the uh, expansion of the gas and the contraction of the gas creates what's called a cavitation bubble as a result of the thermocline of the ocean um, shrinking it and letting it expand again. And so when that bubble comes up underneath your ship, your ship will bow and crack and just get torn in half. And that is the most dangerous mine of all, are the, you know, sh the mines that blow up underneath your ship. So, again, for this particular one, I can't tell if it's a magnetic or an acoustically actuated one. I would say it's just a simple uh, drop contact mine. Throw it overboard and hope hope it hits the submarine underneath. Mines are not just meant for submarines. Mines are more so meant for surface ships. But um, yeah, I, I, I think that's it. So let's let's keep going here. And okay, so it was clearly a contact mine of some sort because it blew up and threw everybody away. And now we get to scout with a Doctor Who scarf. And you idiot! Okay, so Sniper here, or, I'm sorry, Spy here has, um, okay, so Spy here has some sort of, it looks like a multi-barreled revolver with all the barrels fused together for what seems like no good reason. Uh, that, that seems like a waste of mechanical energy to have to turn the entire barrel every time you're firing instead of just the uh, the chamber and uh, no! No! Why? these Why? aren't TF2 voice lines these are Half-Life voice lines and here comes demo Don't stop. wasn't this eye patch on the other eye before yeah it was but they've successfully turned uh, Scout into Me? a baby Probably wealthy people want to know. So, so. That's that's not medic's voice lines, and um, his tear ducts look like they are uh, ravaged by some sort of uh, nuclear waste or or something. Uh, definitely has a malpractice suit if that was as a result of cosmetic surgery. Scientists, engineers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of engineers. Okay, and there's a handprint and a comet flying by the back of the screen for some reason. And that handprint actually has six fingers. Huh. Okay. Well, you know, what they said about Goliath and the Bible, six fingers and six toes on each hand and foot. So, well, I don't know, guys. I just, I, I don't understand it, but um, I'll, uh, I'll hopefully live stream at some point here so I can play again instead of playing in my off time to get better I'll just keep doing it and embarrassing myself on uh, live stream so cheers see you later